I just got home from the mall. <laughs> I spent so much money. I got some stuff for my trip. I got some disposable masks. Um, cheesies. These are going to be like my, my little snacks. I've also got granola bars and fruit bars. But sometimes a granola bar or fruit bar just like doesn't really hit the spot. And then... And I like don't really want to eat it and I know I will always want to eat a Hawkins cheesy so also I don't think you can get those in the states so really I'm just saving myself I got some socks um I got some other socks these are like more athletic socks but I'm a little bit worried about like the back of my heel because sometimes I get blisters there and these seem kind of short but they also are like super thin, so I'm hoping that I won't get any like crazy rubbing. I got some large uh, freezer bags for putting my liquids in. Sorry, I'm just like, <laughs> oops. Um, okay, I'm very happy about this. Look at this dress. You can't see it. It's just like a little tank kind of top and then like flowy flowy skirt I'll you'll you'll see it later in the vlog you shall see it um okay these are like these sort of biker short type things but I don't know if you can tell oh yeah there you can um it's got this like really cool texture so I feel like it looks a little bit more interesting feels a little bit less like athletic wear because you know I'm not a super <laughs> athletic girl uh, but I did get some biker shorts, like plain black, you know, the vibe. Do, do, do. Um, mostly just because the last trip that I went on, where I did a ton of walking, I like ripped up the insides of my thighs, like bleeding, like sores. Um, <laughs> that sounds graphic. It was bleeding. It was bad. It was very uncomfortable. That was partly because I wasn't wearing like any leggings or shorts underneath things. So I was just like grabbing, but oh, I just don't want to experience that again. So shorts uh, were necessary and they're going underneath all dresses, everything. Um, I got some kombucha. kombucha a little little cleanser um I have cleansers but like not a good travel one so I wanted a little travel guy a little travel sanitizer a little tiny travel deodorant I've got like a little spray one but I don't feel like those are like very effective so that's everything so I spent about $150 on thing on clothing, but that's fine because it will um, continue to be useful after my trip. And then I spent about $50 at Shoppers. Um, some of this stuff's gonna go away pretty quickly, but the rest of it, I just hit myself in the face. Um, yeah, I. I feel like I've gotten, okay, that's not better. I feel like I've gotten to the point in planning for my trip where I'm just like buying things because I'm stressed. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It's going to be fine. I think I've got like five bottoms now that I have the two pairs of shorts. So I've got five bottoms. Um, I have five just t-shirts and then this dress and I'm probably gonna pack another dress I have like a t-shirt dress and then I have like sort of a pattern dress little ties it's very cute but I do need to steam it so I don't know t-shirt dress is more chill and the shoulders are covered and it's supposed to be very hot like 
30, like 25 to 35 kind of thing while we're in New York. So it might be good to have something with a little bit more coverage. We shall see. I'll see what inspires me. But yeah, I leave in two days. I'm so nervous. I've never traveled by myself before. I'm meeting a friend in New York, my friend Beth. You'll get to meet her. She's lovely. Um, but I've never like, I mean, I've, that's not even true. I have flown by myself. Um, but it was like as an unaccompanied minor. So there was always like someone there looking out for me and like telling me where to go and like what to do. Um, so I've never, that's not even true either. I have flown alone as an adult. Um, but I think I'm just nervous. I don't do it a ton. Um, I definitely am someone that like on trips and stuff kind of turns into like a, okay, what are we doing kind of person rather than a like, here's what we're doing. Um, so it'll be interesting. I'm spending a few nights alone in New York, so that'll be exciting, but also nerve wracking. We shall see. Anyways, okay, bye. I haven't um, told you guys, oh, I shouldn't do that. I'm not wearing pants. Um, I haven't told you guys at all about uh, what I'm doing in New York. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sit. We are going to a bunch of theater. We have tickets for Into the Woods. And uh, Beth, my friend that I'm going with, just booked. Um, she did the lottery for a bunch of shows and we got into POTUS, which I'm so excited about. Um, it's basically, I, like, I really don't know much about the show. All I know is it's about, like, the women surrounding a man running for president or being president, I honestly don't know. Um, but I'm excited. It's supposed to be good. And I'm very excited for Into the Woods. It's got like Philippa Sue, Sarah Bareilles, um, like so, so many very, very talented uh, musical theater performers. Uh, so I'm very excited for that. And then shows we're also going to try and, oh, we're gonna go to Arestia. That's like on the list. Uh, we don't have tickets yet, but we're gonna try and get the like 30 under 30 tickets and we can't get them until Friday. Um, yeah, cause they're $30. Um, but we're going to try and rush Hades Town and Six and Company um, and maybe Funny Girl if we have time. Um, and then when I'm on my own, I might also try and see Strange Loop. Um, we're definitely going to do Central Park. I've already been to New York, like, twice, so I'm not really going to do any of the, like, tourist things. Uh, just because they were not particularly exciting to me when I have done them in the past. I also, like, was doing them with big groups, so it's, like, particularly unappealing. Um, so... It's not the end of the world, but yeah, um, I leave today. So right now I am about to make breakfast. So my boyfriend will be here any minute. I am about to leave. I'm about to leave. I am very excited. I am nervous, very nervous, Frick, I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm gonna like, uh, <laughs> but I think once I get through security and like I'm chilling in the airport, I will feel better. And yeah, that's how I'm doing. <laughs>